That's enough of that. We have to get serious now. This is the final confrontation with Ashura. And he remembers us from the very first sequence of the game in which we soundly got our asses handed to us. But this time, we have the Fiery Phoenix. Now, he moves very slowly forward, and that's the shield. It literally is a shield that we're supposed to break with the Fiery Phoenix. But lure him in close first, and then bring him in. That way you can destroy the shield and get a hit in on him. Now, as if you want to do this twice, and if you stay on top of him, you'll be able to kill him with two fiery phoenix moves and never take a single hit of damage. It makes the fight so much easier. And somehow that frees the sorceress, and she can no longer be sacrificed for Raglan. And all seems to be doing pretty well, until suddenly, the old man shows up. And the old man makes it clear that despite exploding several times, Ashura's head is still intact. And as such, it comes alive. And since it's still alive and still has some of its power left, it's going to sacrifice itself for Rylan so that he can become more powerful and defeat Sky. And we hear Roglon talking about how uh, pretty generic villain stuff. He's going to take over the world. He's going to wield the power of darkness. He's invincible. There's nothing we can do. And then Sky just says, oh yeah, who's going to protect you from me? And runs off. And now we have the final battle with Roglon. This is actually a really simple fight because there's a very easy exploit for this. Now, normally what people tell you to do for this fight, and I checked on GameFAQs, and I can't believe they ask people to do this. They say, lure Raglan up the wall so that you can stand on that ledge and he won't be able to punch you. And then you run up, hit him in the face, and then wait for the laser to pass over you and jump between the laser and the explosion that moves along his arm. But as you can see, if you keep Roglon all the way down toward the bottom of the screen, his laser will not be able to hit you in time, as you can just climb up to the top of the wall, and the explosion becomes a non-factor. The only real difficult part about this strategy is just making sure you time it properly so that you avoid Roglon's fist, because that is a one-hit kill. And because of this strategy that I'm using, I can use my available magic points to heal myself if I absolutely need to. Now if I remember correctly, you break the horns, you break the jaw, you break his eyes somehow, and after he tries punching you I think five or six times, that's a sign that he's almost dead. And by the way, the way that this battle ends is actually kind of funny. I'm not going to spoil it, you're going to see what I'm talking about. But yeah, we can keep doing this exploit. The only real tricky thing about it is making sure you don't jump too high. Otherwise you'll grab onto the wall too late, and you'll get hit by the laser. Now I think... just... Yep, his arm drops and you're floating in midair. I know it's the, pretty much the same thing that happens with all the other bosses, I just find it funny that the arm drops straight down into the lava. Now, this is kind of a stereotypical ending in sort of the happily ever after sense, but it's not in that you would expect Sky would hook up with the sorceress and then they live happily ever after and the kingdom is in peace or whatever. That's not what happens here. What happens is, Sky actually flies off, keeping the form of the Fiery Phoenix, and he goes around looking for other people that need protection. And that's exactly what you're going to see here. By the way, fun fact, that geography that you see below Sky, 
uh, is actually a nine second loop. If you pay attention, you'll actually start seeing the same things passing by. Like that island, those particular mountain passes. The river just bends back and forth and you eventually realize, oh, it's just the same thing. And actually, I am going to head out early from this because I really don't have much else to say. Uh, enjoy the credits, I had fun with this game. This has been SCXCR playing Sky Blazer on the SNES as part of the 16-bit winter put on by Zero Master LP. See you later.